Hey YouTubers, Grimmy here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Age of Extinction Generations Strafe. And, uh, technically this is the Evolution 2 pack version with the little minicon of Swoop. And I guess I'm gonna just cover Swoop right now because I got a little tension to get on about him. Now, I think you guys remember my little review of the Evolution 2 pack for Grimlock, which came with a Energon version of the Grimlock figure that was meant to combine with an Energon swoop that in the original in Energon actually they were packaged together. Now we got the Grimlock, but instead of getting that all that actually nice swoop figure which unfortunately I don't actually own. We get this little mini con. And that's a big time disappointment for me. I was honestly looking forward to getting both the um, Energon Grimlock and Energon Swoop. I think everybody wanted it like that when these two packs were announced. Instead, we get this little mini con that's a tiny Pteranodon that transforms like so and yeah I'd say it's a little easier than I'm making it look it's just a couple tabs are tough to get into place As you can see, it just transforms a piece of cake. And this little dinky guy is supposed to be Swoop. Eh. Not quite measuring up. It's This is originally uh, like a Dinobot Minicon that was uh, in the Classics line. Although it was originally red, I think. And they just recolored it in the uh, G1 colors. For, for the dark of the moon and just repacked it for this set. So yeah, that's your Minicon Swoop. Um, not a big deal. Uh, and uh, we'll get to um, Strafe now. So let's get to it. Now that we get to Strafe, um, as far as I can tell there's no real difference between the uh, standard deluxe Strafe and this Evolution 2 pack Strafe. I could be wrong, but um, as far as I can tell, there's really no difference. Not even in the price. They're both about 15 bucks. So if you want to get um or well, standard is 10 bucks at Walmart uh, right as of this recording. So you might want to pick it up at Walmart and skip the Minicon because I don't really think it's gonna that Minicon is gonna be matter much and it's not worth five bucks honestly <laughs> that that's I wouldn't spend an extra five bucks for that I just happened to get this because it was released before wave two of the uh, age of extinction deluxes but as you can see he's a nice little two-headed and two-tailed pteranodon with a pair of legs and a somewhat well, actually a really nice wingspan. He's got big wings. Oh. And I just knocked him over uh, by mistake. As you can see, he's got nice wings, but unfortunately, you can see the arms very clearly. Unfortunately, Strafe may be one of the weaker, actually one of the weakest of the Dinobots. Um, they made no attempts to hide his arms. I mean, the rest is okay. You can kind of see his head between the two pterodactyl heads. But um, other than those visible arms, I don't really have a lot of qualms with the uh, beast mode. Now you got nice Autobot symbols on the wings. A pair of lances on those wings. And he does come with a crossbow. 
which can be placed on here. I gotta go pick it up. I think I left it in another room by mistake, but um, I'll get it for the robot mode. Because honestly, I don't like the look of it on the beast mode. But yeah, I mean, this is actually not a bad toy, but it's definitely the weakest of the Dinobots in my opinion. I mean, but since it's a beast mode, we do have articulation. We got um, flapping wings like this, flapping wings like that. They turn. Plenty of movement in those wings. And you got the uh, movement and hit this point too. So those wings are pretty well articulated. Both heads um, have up and down, left and right, and opening and closing beaks. Which is good. That's a nice amount of articulation in those heads. Legs. They got forward, backward. A teeny, teeny bit of movement in the knees. Not enough to really count for anything. And movement in the toes. And there's a thigh swivel as well. So yeah. I mean, he's articulated. I'll give him credit. He's posable. Can get some nice flight poses, get some standing poses, and he's good on that. Well, Mark, um, I, the only real complaint I can say is that his arms are, his robot arms are plainly visible. That's about it. That's a big flaw too, but uh, that's the only one that he's got. So let's get this guy in robot mode and see how he looks there. Before I actually get him into robot mode, uh, why don't we get this guy compared to the other Dinobots? Sorry guys, I almost forgot. I, I made a mistake. Sorry about that. But yeah, we got him with Voyager Grimlock. And he's, his wings are going to get in the way, so why don't I just fold those down a bit. Make him a little more... Easy to view with the others. Yeah, we got Voyager Krimlock. Of course, we got Leader Krimlock. Scorn. Might have to back this up because there are a lot of Dinobots to view them with now. We got Slug. And last but not least. And I had to really bend down to get this guy, but you got Slash. So you got a nice big family of Dinobots building up here. And Strafe looks pretty good with him. He fits in with the group. But let's get him into robot mode and see how he looks in that mode. Okay, and now that we got Strafe in his robot mode, let's take a look at what we have to deal with. He's pretty much a nice dark blue with a lot of black and lighter blue details. It looks right, really good. I like the way it um, matches together. I mean, it really, the color scheme really does flow very well. Um, the wings become this uh, interesting little cape, and there's even a hole for the two tails, which is nice. And it actually looks pretty good like that. I'm sure someone would have wanted a tighter cape on here, but this works. Now the heads do form kind of high up uh, chest armor, but it's not horrible. Just I don't know, they just uh, get in the way a little bit. <laughs> but for articulation, he's okay. He's got left and right on the hand, head. And a little downward movement as well. He's got, um, all, like, uh, pin and socket shoulders. Plenty of movement. In and out, forward, back. He's got a bicep swivel. Yeah, 
Well, let me get that off real quick. He has a nice full, like a nice bend at the elbow. Um, and his wrists can do have a swivel to them, but they go the wrong way. They go up and down like this, but they do not, um, but they do not swivel left and like the way they should to keep them from getting the curling iron arms. He and Slash both seem to suffer from this, which is a terrible shame. And it's, I really wish that they would have put in the proper wrist swivel so he don't have to deal with the curling iron arms. Because that really does cut down the posability quite a bit. His waist does move. He does have a waist joint. So that's a plus right there. He has um, ball jointed hips with a swivel at the thigh, swivel above the knee, nice little bit of knee bend. You can get a double if you uh, do some mistransforming. But yeah, you, but no, nothing at the toes. So possibility wise, he's not bad. Oh yeah, you can still move the wings as you wish. So that's another plus. Now, like I said, it's usually better just to keep him as a cape. Now for his accessories, he has this little crossbow that has a pressure mounted missile, so you can fire that off. And then he has these two, um, I don't know if they're lances or swords, they might be a little bit of both, but he actually has two of them so he can actually dual wield for some nice melee combat. And honestly, I probably wouldn't have missed the crossbow if they omitted that because of these two lances. Still, it's nice to have them, and I do like it. But um, I guess it's time to compare him to the rest of his brethren. So we got Grimlock back here. Then we got the much bigger leader class Grimlock. Bring back Slash. Put Scorn in. Still number one. <laughs> and then Slug. As you can see, this is a nice little batch of dinos. I mean, all things considered, uh, I would consider Straight to be one of the weaker of the bunch. And, you know, you really don't even need to go for the Evolution 2 pack. It's either going to be the same or a little bit more than the... Uh, standard release and the paint job is pretty much identical to the standard release. So it's not like you're really gaining anything more than a tiny little midget uh, swoop look-alike. But you know that's about it. If it were like maybe 25 and came with the Energon swoop I would recommend that over the standard release easily, but not the case. But still, as far as the Dinobots go, I think Strafe might be the weakest of the bunch so far. It'd come down to between him and Slash, so the second wave isn't as strong as the first, unfortunately. Still, we got two more on the way. That I know of. We got Snarl and Slog coming. Slog being a Voyager. I think uh, Snarl is a Deluxe. Hopefully he'll be a little better than, like, be a step up, you know? Anyway. 
Thank you again for watching this review. I hope you have enjoyed it. Feel free to comment, subscribe, like this page, and hopefully we'll see you again next time. Take care, bye-bye, and have fun.